He's back, we think. So Kendrick Lamar delivered his first statement in a very long time earlier in the day, addressing his future in regards to music. He said, August 20th, 2021, I spend most of my days with fleeting thoughts, writing, listening, and collecting old beach cruisers. The morning rides keep me on a hill of silence. I go months without a phone. Love, loss, and grief have disturbed my comfort zone, but the glimmers of God speak through my music and family. While the world around me evolves, I reflect on what matters the most, the life in which my words will land next. As I produce my final TDE album, I feel joy to have been a part of such a cultural imprint after 17 years. The struggles, the success, and most importantly, the brotherhood. May the Most High continue to use Top Dog as a vessel for canon creators as I continue to pursue my life's calling. There's beauty in completion and always faith in the unknown. Thank you for keeping me in your thoughts. I pray for you all. I'll see you soon enough. And there's also an image going around on, on not only Kendrick's uh, Instagram account, but also his uh, other business venture. It's showing new thoughts. So Kendrick Lamar announces his latest album, which will be his last album on TDE, um, which might be his last album overall. He's got OKLama.com. Well, Top Dog from TDE did give a statement as well on this, I would assume to be a historic day for, for TDE. He said the whole goal when we started this thing was to make music, make money and make history. We did those things 10 times over and then some. TDE and its artists have provided a way to end generational curses that we were all personally born into over the last 17 years in the business. With this being Dot's last album on TDE, this is more of a victory lap, a celebration. I know he will be successful in whatever he decides to do and we have, and he will have our full support. As for Top Dog Entertainment, we will continue to grow, develop and give artists the platform to expand into whatever they choose. Heart, honor, respect, top dog. So now I'm even more confused than before today. I don't know if this means Kendrick Lamar is doing one last album, period? Or is this his last album with TDE? The message says his last album with TDE, but I just find it hard to believe or just hard to even imagine Kendrick Lamar doing music somewhere else not named Top Dog Entertainment. I guess it's possible. I just don't think it's plausible. Like I never in my wildest of dreams assumed Kendrick Lamar to do something else. Maybe he will musically do something else, but let me backpedal real quick. I want to give y'all the PC version. And I also want to give y'all the Pharaoh version, the real, the PC version is shout out to Kendrick Lamar. I know he's had at least one child. I'm not sure if he's had multiple kids, but shout out to Kendrick Lamar over the last few years since he dropped damn what top of 2017, He's been gone. You know, I, I actually saw Kendrick live in concert right before COVID, but you literally couldn't even see that it was Kendrick Lamar. He had so much stuff on, like just the, the get up. It was it's just, he almost had like a clown suit on, right? Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. Congratulations on a uh, family. I, I believe the brothers got married as well. Um, he just, he's been to himself. That's the PC answer. I'm happy that Kendrick Lamar has been able to enjoy himself, his family, his thoughts, and get away from the rigors of what it is to be a citizen in this world. Now I'm going to give y'all the Pharaoh answer. Fam, is this really Kendrick Lamar announcing that he's about to start his next album? I hope it's not that. Because I hope he's not telling us, like, yo, I've been away for a while. Now I'm about to start the process of my new album. Fam, it's 2020. It's damn near 2022. Where have you been? Like, what, what have you been doing? It took you five years to get ready for the next album. Please tell me you have an album already ready. Kendrick, please don't tell me you're coming online to tease us fans with now you're about to start the process of making your new album. I pray that that's not the case. I know you ain't come on social media to tell us, yo, I'm about to start making an album after that fire you gave us in damn. I know you ain't doing that. I would hope that that is not the case. I'm going to assume Kendrick Lamar to be uh, more st studious and more strategic to that i'm assuming new music is closer than, than than before i'm assuming that this album is close to being completed 
Maybe that's the reason why Drake ain't dropped Certified Lover Boy. Maybe that's the reason why Ye ain't dropped Donda. I'm just going to optimistically hope that that's the reason why Kendrick Lamar delivered that statement today. Not to tease us with the process is about to start. Like, sheesh, Louise Kendrick. You give us this five, you leave us, and the world goes crazy. Donald Trump enters office. Coronavirus, you heard of that? It, it was crazy, man. The world almost ended. Kobe Bryant passed away, bro. We lost Black Mamba. You know, George Floyd, that was like a real thing in the culture. God rest the dead. Like, you ain't said nothing about any of this stuff. You come online and tell us you about to start the album making pro. I hope that's not the case. Again, that was the Pharaoh answer. Yeah, I gave y'all the PC version. I had to get y'all the Pharaoh version. That's how I feel as a fan of Kendrick Lamar. Y'all let me know how excited are you guys to be getting new, I guess, soon Kendrick Lamar music. And let me know what you think about him announcing that this is his last album on TDE. I wonder what's next for Kendrick. Will he try to create something of his own? Maybe? Will he be done with rap altogether? Is this his last album overall? Y'all let me know. Clearly, this is a deep thought, brother. You know, I was listening to J. Cole on his last project say he's 100 mil up. I don't like counting people's pockets, but if I'm assume to assume if Cole's 100 million up, I think it's a safe assumption that whatever Kendrick has in his bank account, he ain't hurting. If it ain't about the money, if he's clearly letting you know that he doesn't have a lot to say often, this might be the last Kendrick Lamar album. Only time will tell. Hopefully not a lot more time because we already waited about five years.